Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here today to share with you the July Scentsy scent of the month. Um, I do not have the warmer, but I will, you know, kind of show you the flyer. I know a ton of people already have theirs. My uh, package came kind of late this month. However, I still wanted to give you my thoughts on it and remind you that it is going to launch July 1st. And also um, at the end of the month, June 30th, <laughs> all of the bring back my bars from that were like available during the month of june as of june 30th it will be the last day to either buy them or add them to your club so you have been warned while this is the july scent of the month video the day before that is the last day to get your hands on this set of bring back my bars so if it is still june go go to your either uh, consultant's website to purchase them or to add them to your club do not delay they are already starting to sell out so back to the scent and warmer of the month for july the scent is stargazing and the warmer is called above the clouds i love this it's so cute i did not get the warmer it's so cute you guys but i i think we all collectively agreed it would be so lovely in a nursery and I don't have a nursery, so I don't necessarily need to buy this warmer <laughs> in anticipation for potentially having a kid at some point. Um, I think that might be a little bit excessive, but I did really want it. Um, so here is what the warmer looks like off. It is an element warmer with the dish in the back, but as you can see, when it lights up, you just can see the front, but depending how you have it positioned. I do totally agree. I think this would look so adorable in a uh, nursery, just somewhere you want like a gentle light. Um, the like description of this warmer, it's called Above the Clouds. It says this blissfully simple porcelain warmer is embedded with an LED light. So the entire body glows softly, making it perfect for bedrooms or anywhere you want quiet, understated illumination. So very cute. It's only four inches tall, so it's like super compact and petite. Um, it is an element. I am pretty positive. I've heard some people say that it's 13 watts. However, take that with a grain of salt. I don't have the warmer and they don't tell you on these flyers. I really wish they would start telling you um, either on the website or on these flyers what the element wattage was. Um, I'm pretty sure though that's what I've heard people say. Like I said, Take that with a grain of salt, I do not have the warmer. Um, it is on a 10% discount in July, making it $36. And once again, here is the pictures. If I knew someone who was like having a baby that I was like getting a gift for, this would be perfect. So let's talk about the scent. So here is what the bar looks like. Um, here is what, it's like a very, very deep navy, indigo type of color not quite black a hint of purple maybe maybe like indigo um the just general description is star kiss petals shine through fluffy cotton and soft vanilla clouds making all your celestial dreams come true a ton of people have said this i'm gonna say it as well it's literally a dupe of jammy time like it could not be more similar to jammy time i don't think it's very very similar for me so honestly that's like the first that's like the first thing i get if i had to differentiate the two i would say this is maybe a little bit deeper and a little bit maybe heavier on the wood type of note um just giving it like a little bit more maturity <laughs> but it's really similar to jammy time. I mean, if you had them next to each other, I just don't know if you would quite know the difference. I feel like this one's maybe just a little bit deeper, like I said. So in the little pamphlet, it gives us the breakdown. The top notes are silky iris, white flowers, star kissed petals. The mid notes are fluffy cotton and vanilla clouds. The base notes are creamy sandalwood and white musk. So if you, or maybe new to Scentsy, or maybe you've never tried jammy time. You might be like, great that it's a dupe for jammy time, but what does that mean? What does that smell like? And honestly, jammy time and the scent are very, very hard to describe. They're kind of like an Amazon rain where it's like, there's all these notes, but you have to smell it to get the gist of what it actually smells like. If I had to break it down, 
I get the sandalwood and it's like a woody sandalwood. It's not like a sweet sandalwood. It's like a very, I don't, it's almost like sandalwood with a laundry cotton type of scent, not a sweet sandalwood. <laughs> I know sometimes when I hear sandalwood, I'm thinking like a sweet vanilla sandalwood. It's just sandalwood. It's like very woody, borderline, um, masculine type of scent. But I do get the fluffy cotton and that hint of a floral that gives it kind of that powderiness. I do very much get that as well. So it's kind of, to me, like a laundry detergent um, that I've like smelled people use before. Um, it's definitely not like a Tide or a Downy or like that type of scent, but it's like a laundry detergent with like a deeper wood type of scent. So I hope that helps. It is in the fresh category, but I would borderline say this is in like the woods family just because of how like deep and dark it is. I, I wouldn't necessarily smell this and think like, oh my gosh, that's so fresh. It kind of just reminds you of like a bedtime scent. But I do think Jamie Time is also in the fresh category. So I see why they did that. And also, like I said, it does have that laundry type of aspect to it. It's not like a clothesline or clean breeze where you smell them and you're like, this is laundry. It just kind of has that like fluffy cotton type of scent with the added floral like powderiness and then definitely that wood like making the base making it very woody like nighttime so that's what i get from it is it my favorite i don't personally like go head over heels for jammy time some people do um so personally i think like it's nice for the bedroom um but i don't know that it's like my all-time favorite for the bedroom i personally prefer more of like a lavender marshmallow uh kind of like the scent that was from the life's a garden collection i think it was something with lavender and marshmallow in it um i kind of prefer those more for the bedroom just me personally but I did use the tester of this in my bedroom when we got it in the whiff box. Um, if you are a customer of mine, I have some samples going out to you. Maybe you've already received them by the time this video goes up. So if you received one from your consultant or me, or you've tried it, leave a comment below for people to, you know, have like, if you're reading the comments, maybe it'll help you decipher what you think of the scent. Um, but personally, it's just not my favorite. If I wasn't a consultant, I would probably just try one bar just to get a gist for it. But since I am a consultant and I got the kit, which has quite a few bars in it, I don't know that I need to like add this to my club or go out of my way to purchase more of it. Also, I do think the room spray would be a really nice option for just like the wind down before bed. Um, if you are gonna use these, you really need to shake them up so that the oils and the um, just like mist in here doesn't shoot out like straight oil droplets. It does get a little bit separated, so just like shake it up before you do it. This is not an aerosol. This is like truly, it's a liquid in here. So just be aware of that. Um, also, if you get like the scent circle of this, I think it'd be perfect for either like your linen closet, um, maybe like a sock drawer, things like that. Probably not necessarily your car, <laughs> but maybe more of the lines of that like linen closet, um, sock drawer type of situation. So um, also all of the, like not the warmer, the scented products are 10% off in the month of July as well. So the bar will be $5.40, the room spray will be $7.20, and the scent circle will be $2.70. Did I say the room spray is $7.20? I feel like all those numbers just completely blended together there. So, <laughs> um... There you have it, that is what I think of the scent and kind of the breakdown. Like I said, let me know if you've tried it and what you think of it down below. But thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.